On August 4, 1577, the town of Blythburg was hit by a particularly heavy storm. Thunder and lightning terrorized the skies, and many of the residents had to find refuge at the Holy Trinity Church. Unfortunately, those who hid in the church were about to experience something more terrifying than an act of nature. During a burst of thunder and lightning, residents within the church began to hear a strange growling. They didn't immediately realize it, but a demonic being had entered the church. The monster, known as a hellhound, ran up the center aisle of the church and proceeded to attack two people. Both of them died during the attack. It then left, and as it did, the steeple of the church collapsed on itself. The monster didn't stop there. Still hungry for the blood of humans, the hellhound made its way to the St. Mary's Church where it attacked several more people, even killing some of them, before it disappeared into the night. The only evidence of it was the bodies of its victims and the scorch marks left on the church walls. Hellhounds are supernatural beings that resemble large and monstrous dogs. However, unlike normal dogs, who are man's best friend, in most cases, hellhounds have the specific purpose of torturing and killing humans. These beings exist in almost every culture on Earth. And while the stories surrounding them subtly change from one culture to another, the basic description of them remain the same. Evil hellhounds have a few purposes. In Christian law, they are servants of hell and are sent to drag souls that are destined for hell into eternal damnation. In other cases, they are actually guard dogs, said to guard the entrance to the land of the dead. Regardless of what you believe about them, seeing a hellhound is supposedly a very bad omen, a sign that you or someone close to you is about to die. In the late 19th century, a man named Charles Walton from Warwickshire, started to see a strange sight. According to the man, he would notice a black and monstrous dog in the same spot every night. This went on for several consecutive nights. The dog would show up, stand in the same spot, and then leave. That was until one night when everything changed. On that night, Charles had watched for the appearance of the dog, but instead of seeing it, a ghost appeared in a spot. The ghost of a headless woman. She stood at the spot of the hellhound for a short while before disappearing. Charles didn't know it at the time, but this was actually an omen of death. Charles later learned that the exact moment he saw the headless woman was the same moment that his sister had passed away. It seems that in this case, the dog hadn't come to harm or even kill Charles. Instead, it came to warn him about a death in his family. When hellhounds appear, you don't often see their full form. Instead, the first sign that a hellhound is close is its smell. Several accounts claim that hellhounds smell like fire and brimstone, with a few accounts even claiming that they smell like burning flesh. The second thing you'll notice is the sound, a demonic howling and growling that seems to come out of nowhere. However, if you look, you may see the hellhound's large eyes staring back at you. The creature's eyes are claimed to be bright red and glowing. Because hellhound's fur is said to be as black as coal, they often blend into the darkness of the night. So you may not see its entire body, just its silhouette stalking you. Finally, hellhounds are said to leave behind scotch marks wherever they go. So a sure sign that a hellhound has been around would be burn marks in the floors and the walls. In the year 2000, two women had a strange and terrifying experience. The women from England were traveling between North Allerton and Leeming Bar when a large black dog came running towards their car. The driver of the vehicle hit the brakes hard, trying to avoid a fatal crash. However, the creature just passed through their vehicle they described the monster as having no discernible facial features. 
However, they did notice that it had large floppy ears. Strangely, the story doesn't end there. According to the reports, when the woman arrived at their destination, they talked to a man. That man, whose identity is unknown, went on to take his own life soon after. This is another case where Hellhound didn't actively try to harm a person, but instead served as a warning that someone would soon die, which may be why, in a number of cases, the Hellhound isn't seen as a specifically evil being, with some even calling it a loyal companion. Depending on what story you believe, the job of a Hellhound may be more benign rather than evil. In some cases, Hellhounds are seen as loyal companions to lone travelers, especially when they're traveling through desolate areas late at night. In a few cultures, Hellhounds are seen as the guards of graveyards. There's two reasons they allegedly do this. The first is to protect the bodies of the dead from people who want to destroy or desecrate them. The second is to serve as companions of those who have recently died, leading them to the land of the dead. In these cases, Hellhounds, even though they look monstrous, aren't necessarily evil. Instead, they help to keep the land of the living and the land of the dead running smoothly, while at the same time, helping those who need them. A man from Michigan named S. Costia claimed that he had been living on a farm with his family when they encountered a large hellhound. According to the man, this monster would stalk the edge of the woods during the evening hours. The family would often find dead animals lying around and find that their home had been vandalized. If this wasn't strange enough, the man claimed that the monster's dog was able to walk on two legs for short periods of time and even mimic the calls of humans, trying to get him and his family members to come outside. During one of his encounters, the man claims that his mother found him talking to the dog as it stood on two legs outside his window. While his mother was able to chase the dog away, over the next few weeks, he had started to show strange signs. None of the other animals on the farm would come near him, and he would start to pick at his skin with sharp objects until he bled. Thankfully, this encounter with the hellhound didn't directly lead to anyone's death. However, the victim believes that the night he talked to the hellhound, it somehow got into his head. Although there are many cases where hellhounds seem like devilish monsters, that's not every case. In some cases, hellhounds are not only seen as protectors of people, but also beings that keep the balance of good and evil in check. Hellhounds may actively protect innocent people from those trying to do harm to them, and may hurt those who have done evil things. Unfortunately, the legend changes so much from culture to culture that we can't say for sure whether these are beings of peace or creatures of chaos. It may also be that there are certain types of hellhounds that protect humanity, and others that actively seek to harm humanity. If you don't already believe that hellhounds can be good and actually serve the interests of the innocent, let me direct you to a case from the 18th century. This took place in what is now known as Wiltshire, in the vicinity of Marlborough Road. According to the story, a large black dog that looked more like a spectral being instead of a physical one started to chase two men. This dog relentlessly pursued them, and while it may have seemed like the dog just wanted to attack them, there was actually a reason it was doing what it did. The dog only stopped chasing the men when they were caught by the police. They were actually convicted of a brutal murder back in their own village, and it seemed like the dog just wanted the men to be brought to justice. While learning about so many cases of hellhounds causing carnage may make you fear them, I encourage you to learn more about them on your own, so that you can draw your own opinions. History may not represent things the way they are, even though something may look evil, it doesn't mean that it is. If you want to learn more about Hellhounds and other monsters and mythical beasts, subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified as soon as I upload. And if you liked the video, hit the like button as it helps with the algorithm. Until next time, check under your beds, 
sleep with the lights on and stay curious. This is Dark, signing out.